Anybody hungry? Anybody hungry for success? What if your story and your idea could change lives? There's three things very important in order to become successful. Number one is commitment. Number two is dedication. And number three is perseverance. Welcome, uh, welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome to Millionaire Speakers. Millionaire Speakers, which are live here, all the way from Joe Beg Four Ways. Let me know in the chat where you guys are joining us from. Also, if you have any questions today, we'll be more than happy to answer them. So feel free to use your chat in front of you. Welcome, Dolores. Daniel, the man. Welcome, brother. Solo felo, ferre, ferre, lo hizo, cebolelo, Priscilla, cepiso, quineta. More people are going to be joining us. Let me know uh, why you guys are here today. What would you like to learn? And uh, how important it is for you to share your story and become a powerful influencer in the world? Wouldn't that be nice to share your story and inspiring people? Wouldn't that be nice? Well, stay till the end. We should be done in about an hour. You also get my book for free, 11 Reasons Why Public Speakers Fail. All right. So let me tell you what this event is not about. This is not about you learning how to count your ums and ums, how to become technically great speaker and perfect. In fact, I want you to be complete opposite. I want you to be who you truly are because I want people to love you for who you are without you pretending to be something you are not. This is not about you. Oh, I want to become that speaker who's going to charge millions, you know, for being on the stage. No, I really want you to become a business owner first. So when you're standing on that stage and sharing your story, you're actually promoting something in the back end. All the great speakers that I learned from Lisa Nichols, Les Brown, Tony Robbins, they have a business at the back end first. And then when they speak, including myself, we promote these businesses. Simple as that. All right. So I'm not here to teach you how to speak for free. Anybody tired of speaking for free? Well, there's a lot of schools there. They can teach you how to become a better speaker, to speak for free on these well-known stages. What I do, I get your story. We turn it into something powerful with the power of marketing, and then you have your own business. So when you speak, you actually charge. Anybody would like to start charging for speaking? All right, let's talk about that today. I run several businesses to seven and eight figures. If this is the first time you're hearing about Milan, uh, uh, companies like Riches and Beyond Millionaire Speakers. Anybody know Tony Robbins, by the way? Well, I wrote a book with Tony Robbins, Google him, and the book we wrote is called Cracking the Rich Code. book was number one on the Amazon. And uh, yeah, I'm not bragging. It just, it's possible. Whatever you want to do, folks, with your life and your story, you can do exactly the same thing. So what I do, I uh, teach entrepreneurs, CEOs, aspiring speakers. I have a lot of politicians as my students to become better speakers, to get the story out there. Most of my students would publish the book and eventually sell those books as well. And uh, eventually you get invited to speak for a fee. Yes, I travel around the world. I've been to more than 40 countries in the world. Most of these travels, conferences, organizers, they pay for these travels, for hotels. And I go there and speak for a fee. And I'm running several businesses like the ones you see in front of you. Riches and Beyond, leading property educational company in South Africa. I'm the co-founder and Millionaire Speaks program where we help you build your business with your story and speaking. Google it. Right. All right. Now, what are we going to talk about today? Welcome, everybody. Again, if you have any questions, good to have you. Welcome, Priscilla. Yes, we had a chat today. Powerful lady, powerful story. Good to have you. Welcome, Kinita. Luis would like to be financially free, not depend on employment. So let me give you a few minutes right now, folks. Write down in the chat, what is your business? What are you promoting? What would you like to promote? Now, don't leave any links or phone numbers. Just let me know what is your business? Why are you here today? What would you like to learn? 
And uh, then we're going to take it from there because I like to see who I have in the room. And then uh, we're going to turn that around and position in a whole different different way. And I will show you how far you can go with what you have today. We're going to talk about how to grow your business, the six, seven, and eight figures. Most of our business is the seven and eight figures as well. How do we sell from the stage? How to share your story effectively? Build a business, essentially. Anybody can do this to let you know. I couldn't speak English. I was a college dropout. Born and raised in Serbia. Uh, didn't like to be a speaker, uh, but eventually ended up sharing the stage with Lisa Nichols, Les Brown, wrote a book with Tony Robbins, number one on the Amazon. In English, anything is possible if you're willing to take that leap of faith and get that courage to do something remarkable with your story, with your life. Are you guys ready to do something different and amazing with your life? How many folks like the idea six months from now to be on the billboard? How about the front car of the magazine where 200,000 people will see you? Wouldn't that be nice? How about being invited to different podcasts, talking about your book, your story, your journey, and inspire people? Wouldn't that be amazing six months from now? Well, I can make it happen. I own the magazine. I own the billboard. I have different partners. Our... Uh, our um, podcast is voted in top 25 podcasts in South Africa, and more than 200,000 people will see you. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, you see, it becomes easier when you know how. And what you're going to learn today, this might become a side hustle, side income, but also let's see how we can build a powerful business when you can use the power of speaking and share your story and actually make some money on the way. All right. Now, the moment you say, I know Milan, is the exact moment you stop growing. Look, folks, you might think you know better than me. How many of you actually wrote a book with Tony Robbins? You know Tony, right? I mean, not that I'm bragging, but I've done it. Not many people can say that, right? How many of you are running a business to seven and eight figures right now as we speak? How many of you have done thousand plus live events, presentations, seminars, webinars? Well, that's what I did. So it's all about learning and growing and finding someone who can take you where you want to be if you don't know how. Otherwise, if you know already, you would have been there already. So, folks, I'm going to share a blueprint. Take a photo of this. I will allow you. In business is allowed to copy. Cornet Rust, event company starting off. Good to have you. There you go. Young Gamma, welcome. Uh, now, what you see in front of you, this is the pl blueprint we applied in all our businesses that we built the seven and eight figures. So here's what it takes. Now, um, you can take a note, take a photo. And uh, based on what we're going to cover today, you might realize that some of these things might be missing in your in your journey in your business as well so mindset is very important why understand that someone else was able to do it and you can do exactly the same thing also how do we share that story how do we separate ourselves from everybody else who does exactly the same thing by being you true to yourself and who you are because the only way to be different is to be who you are and you are unique Right, and you have a powerful story, so share it. No one can copy that, right? Might be similarities, but nobody's is the same as you. Share it, that's what makes you unique, right? And also being personal, right? People need to know who they're going into business with. Also, how do we use the stage to promote what we have to offer, right? Even this right now, this is a stage, this is the webinar. You know, could be a small boardroom where we meet and discuss business. Could be a thousand people in front of you. I've done a thousand live events in person. I've also done hundreds of webinars. Whether you like it or not, you are involved in selling one way or another. Whether you're selling a product or a server service. But Milan, I'm an accountant. I don't do selling. Yes, you do. The company you work for, they do selling. They promote something, right? They, they do something promote service or a product one way or another, and you're working for them. And the reason why you got that job, where I, that job where are you right now, you had to sell yourself at some point at that interview. Am I right? Yes, so yes. All right, let's move on. Also, I will share some proven strategies that help a lot of my students as well to step up and become who they are today and how to become authority, how to diversify yourself from most people as well. Who do you need to have to take you to the next level? I will share some business models that you can copy as well that help myself and my team uh, to build our business to seven, eight figures. Uh, also, uh, how do we have it automated so that while you're sleeping, you can also make money? Great ideas with webinars. You can also publish the book, have it online selling even while you sleep. You can make profit that way. 
and how to have multiple income streams as well. Now, folks, look, today there won't be any selling. I'm not here to sell you anything. I decided, you know what? Everybody's trying to sell you something. Well, how about we do something different? I will invite you to book a coaching call with me later on if you need any help. Now, it's not a must, but if you feel that you need any help with anything we're going to cover today, will be a link in front of you. Book it, and I made myself available for the next few days. And let's hop on on that call. It's completely free with me, 30 minutes. And you're going to get so much value, you know exactly what to do next. In fact, I'm going to post the link right now where you can book it better sooner than later. First come, first serve. So the link is in front of you. And you might even get some uh, notification of redirect that comes from me as well. All right. Some of the great stories of my students we have here. Uh, Cornelius Cookman, one of our great uh, students on the property side in partnership with Riches and Beyond. So Cornelius is the producer. Cornelius is a producer on the Home Channel, and he's got his own show all about property. And he connected us, being our students, so that our CEO, Sylvia, have her own show, which is called The Property Game. So this is also power, powerful marketing. Also, some of our students who've been featured in our show, we have more than 50,000 students. The largest property investors network went through this journey. Speaking, you can apply anywhere, even in property space. It's about negotiating. We have some of our students who are negotiating, bringing deals to our investors, people like Doris and Pella, our business partner, Dunisani Mangani, spoke in Australia. Uh, if you have anybody from Cape Town, we have Saskia Riley, our brand strategist, brand st strategist from uh, specialist from Cape Town. She assists celebrities and uh, actors uh, to, with their brand to take it to the whole new level. And she, she's also one of my great students. She does a lot of speaking as well. Also, people like Tapelo Mohao, youngster who specializes in negotiating. And also, a great stories of people like Dr. Musi Songelva. Like I mentioned, I deal with a lot of uh, executives, CEOs. Lately, even some politicians come to me for coaching, which is great to see. They all want to be great speakers, but all of them, they have something in common. All of my students, they feel need to share the story and inspire many, many people. How many folks believe that your story is powerful, that can inspire many? Priscilla, I listened to your story today. It's powerful, right? You have people who made it in their industries, and they, didn't, they don't even realize how inspiring that journey is, right? So how many folks believe that your story might be a great movie for someone to watch and get inspired, right? So why not get it out there? Write a book about it. Inspire people. So Dr. Musi, she was born and raised in Tata. Anybody know what Tata is? She was taking care of the cattle, literally. She says, Milan, I'm a powerful CEO. People don't really know my story. So it might help she eventually get that story out there. Wrote a book about it. Life Lessons of Cattle Herder. Second book lately as well. Lipstick, Lipstick Chronicles of a CEO. Powerful lady. She's got her own coaching programs. And it's amazing to see when people get that story out there. All of a sudden, people get to know who you truly are. And you start attracting the right people your way. Also, some great stories as well. One of my great students, Rowan Kruger. Rowan is a pharmacist with the heart of an entrepreneur. Rowan always wanted to start a podcast. He eventually started it today. This is the top, one of the top podcasts in South Africa. He interviewed a lot of people locally, internationally. It's so great to see he finally living in his purpose. And a great story. Daniel is with us here today. Didn't know you're going to be joining us, Daniel, but good to have you. So Daniel have a powerful story. I say, I like to say, save the best for last. You know, Daniel came to me at the point of time where I um, needed help. He said, Milan, I need guidance. I'm going through a rough time, going through a divorce. He was about to lose a kid as a part of that difficult divorce. He lost his job. But one thing with Daniel... He was always willing to risk. He was always willing to take action to get something more and better. And guess what? Two years later, he got a new job, found new love, new baby as well, born, was it eight, eight months ago? Daniel, correct me if I'm wrong. I wrote a book about this journey. The book is called Define the Odds, Harnessing the Power of Transformation. And I like to say, never been happy. And Daniel, and I'm so happy to have you here today. Uh, we recorded our sessions uh, when we started this journey, massive transformation. I see the happiness coming out of you. 
and and it's so great to see that true transformation and happy that you are ready to inspire other people so folks why am i sharing this with you this can be you six months from now one year from now doesn't really matter this can be you i can only show you today how far you can go i can show you the best version of yourself who you can become and the next step is are you ready for it are you willing to take that step and say yes to yourself and your greatness are you willing to say yes i'm loving who i'm becoming and i'm ready to step into my greatness and inspire many people to become the best version of themselves they can be. If you are willing, you are in the right place. And I want to take you on this amazing journey of gratitude and humbleness and being able to transform your life and other people's life because that's what it's all about. If you can speak, you can influence. And if you can influence, you can change lives. All right, so Daniel, good to have you, brother. Look forward to more success stories. Now, folks, look, if you need any help with anything today, I made myself available for the next few days. Book a call with me. It's a 30-minute call. It's completely free. The link is in front of you. The link is in front of you. There you go, eight months ago, and you, baby, love it, love it, love it. Book, uh, book a link in front of you, uh, and I'll be more than happy to assist you on your journey, and let's see how far we can go together. Now, my story, very, very short. I was not born wealthy. My dad was an electrician. I left my country, Serbia, in 2005. Couldn't even speak English. College dropout. College dropout. Yes. Left my country, Serbia. Ended up working in America uh, on the cruise ship. They put me on this liquor table. I was working in the gift shop, essentially. They put me on this liquor table and they say, well, you're going to be on this liquor table promoting liquor to all these cruise ship passengers. And next to me was this lady, Hannah, blonde lady, blue eyes from UK. And she, you know how you promote liquor? Hey, everybody, come here. We have liquor tasting. And I look at her and I say, is this going to be me? There's no way that I can do this. I can't even speak English. I felt so embarrassed, wanted to quit. But guess what? Two months later... That was me with the bad English, but that was me promoting. Guess what? Amarula. <laughs> Didn't even know. They gave me this. Oh, this is a nice liquor, Amarula. And I had all the story from South Africa. Didn't even know I'm going to end up here somehow. You know, met this African lady, Koketo, from Haran, Cuba. We got married, settled down here in South Africa. And guess what? Today, I'm running several businesses to seven, eight figures. I don't have a degree, but guess what? Today, I have four bachelor degrees and several executive degrees working for me. <laughs> so, so you don't have to have a degree, but you can hire someone with a degree. It's been an amazing journey. I've been introduced to different platforms, to different people. I didn't want it to be a speaker, but I was introduced. And one thing with me, if I see an opportunity, I learn to grab it. Because I come from the place of struggling. I've been broke. I've been sleeping on my friend's couch. Broke, bankrupt, hungry. Didn't like it. So my mind started seeing opportunities and started taking more action. I started saying yes to myself and my greatness, right? So I was an art auctioneer on the cruise ship. I was selling art. I learned from great speakers eventually. People like Les Brown, Lisa Nichols. If you know Lisa Nichols, she also became my personal friend as well. Eventually learned from Tony Robbins, even wrote a book together with Tony Robbins. Book was endorsed by Tony Robbins. Book was called Cracking the Rich Code. Published, I uh, published nine books so far, and one of them, the one with Tony Robbins, was number one on the Amazon. I run several businesses, the seven and eight figures, riches and beyond, and million speakers. These are all seven and eight figure businesses. And um, I gotta say, I've never been happier. But the life of an entrepreneur is always with ups and downs. You have to understand that's what the journey really is. And uh, I've done more than 1,000 live events personally, uh, in person, locally, internationally, hundreds of webinars. And I want to show you how you can do exactly the same thing. Build your business to the next level and um, live a life of your dreams. Anybody like that? Build a legacy. Look for this book, Cracking the Rich Code, Volume 7. This is the book wrote with Tony Robbins, endorsed by Tony Robbins as well. So why am I sharing this? Not to brag, anything is possible. Whatever you want, 
If someone was able to do it, you can have exactly the same thing. Find a person who's there where you want to be and simply learn from them. That's what I did. I learned from the grace. This didn't want to sell down for less. I realized that when you're learning from the best, you can only have similar results. People I learned from Lisa Nichols, Bob Proctor, Les Brown, Tony Robbins, Robert Kiyosaki, my students from all around the world, uh, Zambia, Kenya, Namibia, Botswana, UK, America, South Africa. We are based in four ways. We have more than 50,000 students went through our workshops, whether it's the property side or the speaking side. It is amazing and an amazing uh, rewarding journey, and I'm loving it. I travel a lot around the world. We also have our own show on the home channel. Google it, The Property Game, where our students share the stories and strategies. And I, I've been to more than 43 countries in the world. Most of these travels, organizers of these conferences would pay for me. They would pay for my flights, for my accommodation. Then I would go there and speak. I charge to speak. I'm a seven-figure speaker. Uh, and I started speaking for free. And eventually, I built my value and I started charging. And eventually, I started teaching other people how to do exactly the same thing. It's possible. You can do exactly the same thing. Now, look, folks, you do with your money what you, whatever you want to do. I love sports cars. Anybody love sports cars? The car you see here, I have it. I love it. Uh, my speaking business and other businesses paid for it as well. It's not about the car. It's about why not? Why pay from your own pocket when you can have a business running from it, right? Anybody like that? My first car, by the way, was Fiat Uno. I also have two little kids. I'm a divorced dad now with two kids. And I can talk to divorced people. I know the stories, but I can also talk to young kids. I know the stories about being bullied. When I talk to bankers, I can talk about investing. I can talk to entrepreneurs because I built several businesses to seven and eight figures. Why am I sharing this? I want to show you something, folks. It's never only one story. You went in your life, you went through some different struggles, right? Yes or no, right? And all these moments of your life, those struggles are moments of your life that needs to be shared. They all made you to become who you are today. Without your moments of your struggle, you would never be who you are today. So identify them, share them. So when you have the crowd in front of you, you know exactly which story to pull out. But how would you do that if you don't know, if you think you know you have only one story, right? So I also love to give back to communities and charities. Anybody want to do that, by the way? Let's talk about that today. And let's talk about how you can do exactly the same thing. Again, we're going to cover some things today. If you feel that you need any help with anything we're going to cover today, book a call with me. The link is in front of you in the chat. Welcome, Samuel. Book a call with me, and I'll be more than happy to assist you. Where is the how do I share my story, Milan? How do I write a book, Milan? How do I go about marketing myself? How do I run my business and grow my business? That's what I specialize in. Those are these things that is important. Book it. I made myself available for the next few days. Right. Now, let's talk about business. Three pillars of success. Number one. Do you have a product or service? If you don't, you're working for someone who offers product or service. So do you still want to work for them, helping them reach their goals and dreams? Or do you want to build yourself and follow your own dreams and goals, right? So what is your offer or service? What is that? Is it really clear, right? Do you have multiple? How do we market that offer or service, right? How do we market it? Power of marketing. Also, how do we get more people to buy that product or service? Essentially, in order for your business to grow, you need to get more people. And what kind of business structure do you have? Do you have a plan of growth? If I have 100 clients, how do I reach 1,000, 2,000 or more? Right. Now, how do we do that? Number one, let's start with the basics. Who is your ideal client? If you're offering a product or service, right? Who is that person who is more likely to buy that? Where do they hang out, right? What is their race? Are they male or female? What is their age group, right? So this is going to help us to identify who they are, and then we're going to position our message in front of them, right? How? Number one, identify what's the problem, right? So the main problem with speakers is most of them, they speak for free. Milan, I've been speaking for free for years now. I'm tired. No wonder you're tired. You've been speaking for free. Why? Stop doing that. Right? Speakers don't know how to get a story out there. A lot of people struggle to write a book, Priscilla, right? So a lot of people, okay, I have a book. I'm not selling it. I have a topic. I'm not charging for it. I don't know how to run my business. Do you want to be a broke speaker or do you want to be a wealthy speaker? 
I will help you become a wealthy speaker. If you want to still continue speaking for free, well, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> Go sign up to these events, to these training schools that will teach you how to speak for free. They'll teach you how to count your arms and arms. I'll teach differently. What I teach is be who you are. Be unique. What matters is your story. The message to come across. So when you speak, you're suddenly promoting something on the back end. That becomes your business, right? What are the goals of your people, right? Of your clients? So you see, I know for a fact that people who want to become speakers, they want to be better speakers. They want to charge for speaking. They want to publish the book. They want to be well known. Why? Because the more people know about you, the more your influence will grow. And the more your influence will grow, the more lives we can change and motivate and impact. Am I right? Right? So what are the goals? I know what are your goals, right? So that's why I feel that you're going to see so much value from this presentation today. I wanted you pur purposely to be part of this event today, right? Because you might be some of my ideal clients as well, right? What is your pain? Milan, I've been speaking for years now. I'm struggling. My business is stuck. For years now, I wanted to write a book. I'm struggling. So you see, once we identify the pain, we're going to offer a solution to that. Right, you're gonna offer a solution. Now let's talk about how do we do that? How do we end up getting these clients? And I will share a blueprint, how we build our businesses to seven and eight figures. Feel free to copy. It's allowed to copy in business. Now, it's never about the price, it's always about the value. Why would anybody pay more for the same offer, same product or service from someone else? You might say it's the same. But Milan, I'm selling tackies. It's exactly the same. And this person sold at double the price. Why would they buy from them? You know why? Because they know that person. They trust that person. They build trust. They build relationship. And they build value. And they're willing to pay even more. It's not about the price. Build your value. And then you can charge more. Simple. Why am I able to charge big bucks for my speaking? Because I build value. How many people can say, oh, I wrote a book with Tony Robbins? Not many people. I did it. I'm bringing the value to the table. Here's an experience. How did you write a book? Bestseller book, right? I bring value. Think I know a thing or two about bestseller book? Yeah. I'm a bestseller on the Amazon, right? I wrote nine books as well. You think I know a thing or two about publishing books? Yes, I wrote nine of them. You see the difference here? Wow, Milan, we want you to be part of this event and we're willing to pay. Hope you won't charge us too much. Increase the value first and then you can increase your price. How do we do that? We build trust first with brand awareness. How do we do that? Well, with the power of marketing and social media. Simple, right? Simple yet is not simple for the ones who are not doing it. So the real thing is most people, only their friends and families know about them and their story. Great. Your impact is so small. Let's increase it. We have to use the power of social media and the power of marketing to let more people know. And the more often you do it, the more trust you create. People start following you. One, two, three months from now, you build a relationship. And eventually, you might offer something. When you offer, they see the value. You're not selling anything. You're just providing the value, right? I might ask you to subscribe to our mailing list, right? So you leave your email address. You're going to get some emails from me. Make sure you go through them. I'll share some success stories in the incoming days, right? So maybe in three months from now, I'm going to offer you something and you just know, oh, there's Milan offer. I'm, I'm loving it. Now I'm ready to go to become part of his program. His, by the way, I do offer coaching and mentorship programs. If you guys are interested, reach out to me. Today, I'm not here to sell you anything. It's a good old-fashioned value giving to community so make the best out of it but if you guys are interested reach out to me as well but you see the point here you subscribe to my mailing list i'm sending you notifications and and articles and all the in, in the videos and everything follow me on social media you will realize who milan really is you realize i'm a great dad i'm also a kickboxer i'm also an actor i do all these different things all of a sudden you become my loyal fan and now you know who i am you know my values and eventually if I offer something, you trust me enough to believe that this might be a good offer. All right. But if I off the bat to say, hey, this is Milan, buy this from me. Who are you again? Right. So we have to build trust. It's like if you met someone for the first time at the party. Right. And you kind of like this person, but you don't know them as yet. You're connected. But, you know, I got to be got to be a bit distant. Right. So 
And then you start talking to them and then, then you realize you have a lot of things in common. Oh, wow, you also divorced. I'm also divorced dad. Wow, how many kids do you have too? I also have two kids. Wow, we have something in common. Divorced dads who have two kids. Let's have a beer. Day, you know, right? So, and then all of a sudden we start hanging out, talking about kids and different things. Three, six months later, we become good buddies because we have a lot of things in common. Is it fair to say? Six months later, when I recommend something to that other person, most likely that person will believe me, right? Why? Because we are buddies. We're not strangers anymore. Well, treat your future clients and customers the same way. Don't try to sell them. Build a relationship first. It becomes so much easier to promote anything you have to offer, whatever product or service. Now, how do we do that? Now, I want to re reveal a secret to you. This has been revealed to me 10 years ago. And this truly is the secret for all of you who are offering any type of, of service or product, doesn't really matter, for all of you who are doing some talk speeches, anybody doing some presentations, by the way? Anybody doing Zoom calls once in a while? How many folks are doing boardroom meetings, presenting one way or another? Even if you're talking to a person, one person in front of you, this is going to be helpful. Why? All my life I've been promoting stuff, doing presentations, had some mixed results. I'll be having the same presentation over and over again. And I've done thousand plus live events, but my results were different. And I wonder how come? Same presentation, different results. One of my mentors says, you know what, Milan? This is why. So I'm going to share the secret with you. Don't share it unless you want to, right? So a lot of people don't know this. And once I learned this, my numbers started being consistent and the same because this truly is the secret of great presenters and great uh, closers and people who are offering something from the stage, whatever product or service. Four types of people in any room, in any presentation, even today, four types of people, personalities. We have drivers, number one. Drivers are the ones who already get bored. Probably drivers think, oh, this guy's boring. Get to the point, Milan, taking forever. Milan, I have things to do, you know? I don't wanna miss out, Milan, get to the point. You know, I have things to do. Drivers, fast paced. They want quick results and they don't want to miss out. Drivers normally would come first, but they will also leave first if, if I don't get to the point quickly, right? So look, how quick for you is that in three months from now, you can have your book published. You can be on the front car of the magazine. You can be on the billboard in four ways and invited to share your story in front of 200,000 people. Three months from now, would this be of your interest? What do you guys think? Yes, so drivers, you're going to get your value. Number two, we have analytical people. Analytical people like to analyze. They need more facts. Give us more facts. Yeah, I hear you, Milan, but give me more proof. Analytical people probably Googled me already. That's perfectly fine. I'll do the same thing. I'm also analytical, right? They need more proof. Give me more stories. Who is this Daniel guy? Is he even a real guy? Yes, he is. Google if Daniel is here with us, right? As using as an example, right? Who is this Richard Zimbio? What's all this about? They need more proof. They go to YouTube. They do their own research. Slow paced. They normally don't participate in the chat because they're doing their research as I speak, right? They need more facts, proof. They don't want to make a mistake. When they're ready, they're ready. But sometimes when analytical people are ready, opportunity is not there anymore. So analyze less and take action more. By the way, we have more than 50,000 students went through our workshops. CETA accredited training provider to give you more proof you are in the good hands. My analytical guys, you know who you are. Now, number three, amiable people. Most South Africans are amiable. Now, why am I sharing this with you? You go to New York and speak. And I spoke there. I started telling them stories. I said, don't tell us stories. Tell us how it is. What's all this about? We don't have time to waste, right? Drivers in New York, straight to the point. Huh. Then you go down south to Texas. Tell us more stories. We lay back with Southern, right? Huh. You go to Joburg. It's different when you go and speak to, to Cape Town, for instance. Cape Town, you know, we're here by the coast, we're chilling, but we're more analytical, right? Give us a bit more proof, we're chilling, we'll think about it, right? Job work people will take action, but they love stories. So here's the thing. Most South Africans are amiable people. They love stories. Generally, nice people, most South Africans, not all, but most, right? 
They love stories. They love the sense of community. They don't want to do it alone. They want to see for you do it first and I follow, right? Slow pace. They need support. We have 50,000 students. You're not alone, by the way. They love stories. Wow, this guy, Milan, interesting. Huh? You married an African lady, right? Did you pay Lebola? Yes, I have, if you guys wonder. I'm telling you, right? I've been telling you stories since we started, right? And they don't want to do it alone. You're not alone, right? And we have number four, expressive people. How many folks have ever been to one of these boring Zoom calls and you're like, oh, another one. You know, the, this person is so boring. And you... But you had to stay till the end. You almost fell asleep. How many folks wonder, I hope this is not going to be another boring call today, right? Why is this so important? Some people genuinely want to have fun in life, right? This better be good. This better be fun. This better be interesting, right? Fast-paced, right? Needs to have fun. They see correct condition. I see you, Daniel. I see you, Samuel. I see you, Cornet. I see you, Priscilla, right? And it gets bored easily. Now, why am I telling you all this? Most speakers, without realizing, they are one-dimensional. Don't be one-dimensional, which means I am an analytical speaker and my presentation will be analytical. Great, good for you, but only one group of people will enjoy. What about the rest? If most of my crowd is four groups of people, what about the rest? You see the point? You go to UK, good for you, UK people generally, the more analytical people. What about South Africans? We live in South Africa, right? If I know most South Africans are amiable, why would I be analytical? Right? 20% of the room is going to love it. The rest will get bored. It's boring. It's not fun. We're gone. We haven't connected with you. Hmm. Don't be analytical only. Or you go straight to the point. This is what it is. Straight to the point. Great. I love it. Driver's going to love it. Where's the story? Where's the fact? Where's the proof? It wasn't. We didn't connect. You see the point here? Like my friend Robin Banks, for him, everything is fun. Funniest presentation ever. Great. But sometimes too much might be too much. Give us a bit more proof. Tell us a bit more stories. Right? So the real secret is position your presentation towards four types of people. Give a bit more results, quicker results. Can your program offer that or service, right? Give us a bit more proof, right? Analytical needs that. Give us a bit more statistics, some numbers, right? CETA accredited, 50,000 students, right? Go to our YouTube channel. We have our own show, right? That's the proof in the pudding, right? Tell us a bit more stories so we can connect with you for Miami or people and make fun out of it, right? Look, I like making fun of bald guys with a goatee happen to be one. By the way, the less hair you have, more money you make. I'm telling you, it's been proven. But why? Because I'm trying to connect with all of you folks, and this is who we are. Most of us are a mixture of all these personalities. I'm analytical, but I'm also strong, amiable. I love telling stories. I love the sense of communities, right? So, so position your presentation like this and throw in all these different factors. And guess what? You're going to connect with more people. You want to have people leaving. You want to have people getting bored. People will come and shake your hand afterwards because you connected with them. Wouldn't that be nice? Now, look, you're going to do this. About 80% of the room will connect with you. The other 20 won't, no matter what you do. Some people don't like the way you look. Some people don't like the way you talk. Some people don't like the way you walk. Some people don't like the way you dress. Oh, here's another bald guy with the goatee. He thinks he's smart. Mm, he's wearing glasses. Oh, no. Oh, look, look at that. Look at that goatee. You know, that's got to be fake. You know, maybe it was a bald guy who bullied you back in the days. There's nothing I can do about it. Look, folks, you're not doing this for people who won't connect with you. You're doing this for the rest, the ones who will see who you truly are because you can never fake the real you. Share a story. Tell me who you truly are. Tell me your story, your journey. Let us connect. And let's see what's going to happen. Does this make sense to you guys? Again, why so many great speakers, they get forgotten the moment they step off the stage? Because they're technically correct. I'm technically correct. 
no mm's and ums. I do everything perfectly, but hey, I'm not perfect. Why are you trying to be perfect? Right? So be memorable. How do we become memorable? By sharing your story, by connecting with people, and then people will start following you and become your loyal fans. All right. Did you guys enjoy this section? One of my great friends and mentors, Lisa Nichols, says, Milan, everything starts with a story. Show me. Don't tell me. And I said, what do you mean? Okay, tell me your story. I said, well, I was a college dropout, left my country 2005, couldn't speak English. My dad was at the airport, sad, and ended up working in America. And today I'm here today and sharing this journey. Wow, Milan, boring. What do you mean, Lisa? But how do I say it differently? Well, Milan, you say you were broke, right? What was the feeling of being broke? Anybody been broke before, by the way? Then you know the feeling. So how's that feeling? How does it feel being broke? Were you hungry? Yes. How's the feeling of being hungry? Well, my stomach all, all cringed and then sucked in as well, and I'm feeling pain. Okay, what else? How do people feel about around you, right? So, well, they all feel disappointed. I couldn't provide, didn't have a job, left my school. My dad kicked me out of the house. Okay, so, and then what? I ended up sleeping on my friend's brown couch. Okay, and then what? I woke up in the middle of the night to look at the fridge. Nothing, no food. My friend was also broke. My friend told me, Milan, you have to leave tomorrow. You've been with me for six months. I cannot accommodate you anymore. Right? That's the feeling of being broke. I look at myself in the mirror. Broke. Hungry. I failed my family, my friends, everybody who ever believed in me. But most importantly, I failed myself. And tears started crying. Tears started coming in. I look at myself and I said, I will never be broke again. Repeat after me. I will never be broke again. That's the feeling. You see? People know that feeling. And that's how we connect. You see? One short story of very common feeling that most people felt in their lives. Feeling of being broke. I can talk about feeling of being divorced. Daniel knows well about that feeling. Feeling of pain and wasted time. And all of a sudden, what do I do now? After 10 years of marriage, I'm all alone. What do I do now? Right? That's a whole different feeling. I can talk about feeling of being bullied as a young kid at school with no friends. That's a whole different feeling. I can talk about... Feeling of when your business is going down, but you don't even have money to pay the salaries. That's a whole different feeling and responsibility. But you see, that's the feeling. You have to get it out there. Show people, connect with people, and then people who felt the same, they'll come to you and say, wow, Milan, thank you. I appreciate you for sharing that feeling because I know exactly I felt the same way. So, folks, folks, Show me that feeling. You're going to connect with more people. Mm. But this requires you to dig deeper. To dig deeper into your story, into your journey, to pull that out and share it in front of the right crowd. If you don't dig, most speakers, that I like to call them teacher speakers. We teach, right? You know, I've been broke, bankrupt, blah, 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 blah. And we, we praise our success. Success is great. Tell me a bit more about a struggle of your story and the lessons you learn to become successful. Then I'll appreciate more. Then I want to be like you because your journey resembles my journey as well. There's a little kid waiting to hear your story today. Little kid with no hope who might have been bullied. Might be that young girl who got pregnant at 15 waiting to hear your story to give them hope. Right? Might be that entrepreneur just lost everything. Want to kill themselves. Waiting for your journey of hope to tell them it's going to be fine. That's what the life is. Life goes ups and down, ups and down. We'll be more down. Got to prepare you. We'll be more down than ups. But if you can survive the downs, you become more strong or more resilient when the up comes so you can enjoy it. You see, how do we do that? We build it. We never say we know. What else do I need to learn to take myself to the next level, right?
powerful journey. If you need any help with storytelling, book a call with me. I made myself available again for the next few days. It's completely free. I won't charge you anything, but you're going to have 30 minutes with me one-on-one if you need any help with that. Remember, I wrote a book with Tony Robbins. It was number one on the Amazon called Cracking the Rich Code. If you need any help with that, a book, storytelling, marketing your business, book a call. I'm completely free for you. All right. Now, let's talk about business now. Sales funnel. Do you have a funnel at all? How do you get in your leads? For instance, number one, we attract. Number two, we interact eventually. If somebody's interested, how do we interact? Do we put people in our email database somewhat? We generate inquiries. Somebody sends sending you WhatsApp, says, I'm interested, Milan. And then eventually, let's hop on the call to see how can I really help you. Yes, I do offer coaching and mentorship programs. I won't try to sell you anything on that call we're going to have. But if you feel that you need any help, on that journey, I do coach executives, CEOs, and lately politicians would come to me for guidance. And I'm happy to say that it's working. It's working. They all want to take that next level. Now, folks, how do we do that? I'm going to share one of the most powerful sales funnels of one of the great mentors of mine, Tony Robbins. You can also find this online. All these great speakers, before they become speakers, they have a business at the back end that promote, including me. I learn from them. So when you speak, you promote your business subtly, not directly, subtly, right? It's not about, oh, I'm going to go there, speak, and get paid. It's about while I'm speaking, I'm going to promote my business, my funnel, Tony Robbins funnel. So Tony, I I, I met Tony about 10 years ago. I saw his advertisements. Tony was on the Facebook, done these different engagements. And I liked the message, and I connected, and I subscribed to the list. Great. Next thing, uh, I'm getting all these emails. I'm loving the message. Then he offered to buy this book, $15 book. That's about 300 Rand in today's currency. Okay, I bought a book, Awaken the Giant Within. I started reading the book. I'm connecting even deeper. I'm loving it. Oh, I love this guy, Tony. Tony Robbins. Google him. And eventually, Tony Robbins sending more emails, and I'm following and following. And then he invites invite people to come to his conference. There was one that was $10,000. Like, oh, it's too expensive. But there was another one about $1,000. About 15,000. Okay, let me sign up. And there was Milan at the conference cheering. Everybody say, I, I, Milan there, like everybody else. I'm happy and I'm cheering. I'm part of Tony's community now. And then Tony offered this one on one mentorship with him and other entrepreneurs leading in the world on his private island for $65,000. Now, that's about, let's say, one point, let's say around one million rand. Put it that way. And there was Milan at the corner wondering where I'm going to find one million rand, $65,000 to go to this island. It wasn't a question. I don't want to do it. It's like, how do I find this money? I need this. But you see the point? If I just met Tony, I don't know who he is, and he starts selling me $65,000, I would say, no ways. I don't know you, man. Why would I buy anything from you now? So we had to build a trust. We had to build a relationship. By building trust, the value went up. So when he offered that price, there was no question. I saw the value. The question was about, can I afford this now? So that's the real business. You build your value before you can charge big money. It's never about the price. It's about the value. That's why when I go and speak, I can charge because, hey, I wrote a book with Tony Robbins. I teach executives, politicians. I run several businesses to seven and eight figures. I publish nine books. I provide the value and I can charge for it. So build your value first and then you can charge more money. Right. So if you need any help in any steps of the final, again, book a coaching call. Now, we use the power of your storytelling to get your message out there. We might write a book. Book is a great tool. You see Tony's final started with the book. Simple book got me into the funnel. Right. And then all the other things started following. Now, social media becomes powerful. Number one, it's for free, but also could be powerful tool to attract tons of people. Pick the platform that you're comfortable with. Right, we have Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok lately, right? So pick the one at first and focus on that one and be consistent. Do one video today. And I was talking to Daniel recently. Daniel started doing all these videos more often, right? 30 second video today, 30 second video tomorrow. In 30 days, you already have 30 videos. 
doesn't have to be perfect. But you have 30 videos, more than the one who's thinking forever. In 365 days, you have 365 meaningful videos. Put them out there. People start follow you. Meaningful, crystal clear message. What's all this about? And all of a sudden, there's your content. And you have people who start following you because of your content. Yes, you can make it better, better sound and lights. I mean, I have professional microphone here, proper lights as well. But doesn't have to be. What matters in this world of advertising and marketing, consistency. Consistently being in people's faces. Consistently focusing on your message. Why when there's a campaign, when there's election time? I'm going to use it as an example. Election time. And then all of a sudden you see all these parties and politicians every single day, every single ad they're in your faces. Why? Because they're pushing their message. They want to get you to vote for them. That's what the marketing is. Without the message, you wouldn't know who to vote for. Right? Yes, you might make a wrong decision, but they got you to vote eventually, to do something about it. Same thing with you. With you, right? Get your message out there. The more you're pushing your message, eventually you get followers who turn to be your client. How is your marketing, by the way? How is your social media? You don't need to have a lot of followers, but you need to have the ones who follow you for who you are, right? One of the great platforms we use to promote is the webinars like this one right now. Could be a free Zoom. Zoom is free for 40 minutes. Works fine. We love using this webinar jam. You have all these different features, friendly. Uh, eventually, when COVID happened, we used to do a lot of live events, but then we couldn't do it. We were all in the lockdown. What do we do? We got to do online, but we don't know anything about online. But we had to do it. Otherwise, our business gone. So we went to Lisa Nichols, our mentor from America. She brought her team to teach my team how do we do online webinars like this. And eventually, we switched our entire business to online. And interesting enough, we started making more money than with live events in person to give you an idea our business online in the first year started generating about 70 million rand in a year doing webinars like this now we started doing it differently about five webinars a week and eventually our funnel is very very simple started with the property side there's a webinar and we also have different master classes and then we have coaching and mentorship programs but we can back it out right sita accredited we have our own show a lot of great stories so there's a lot of value, and we that's our funnel. Works great, very similar with Millionaire Speakers program, but works great if you learn from the best. When you learn from the best, you can have very similar results. So I always recommend people, if you don't use webinars to promote, you're missing out. You can attract more people, and your message can also feel real. You see, we are far. You guys are from all around, but this is very direct messaging, and we're connecting. Because I'm using four types of people in the room approach, right? So I've been telling you stories, right? I showed you a lots of proof. I tried to make it fun. You probably laugh at my cheesy jokes already and a lot of facts and proofs in the pudding, right? So, so that's what it's always about. Now, let me give you a blueprint for the webinars for you folks who are doing events one way or another. So simple. Content, you can always bring content, but what kind of solution do you provide? So let's say for speakers, solution really is in three, six months from now, you can get your message out there. You can write your book three months from now, six months from now. Your message is out there, and now the next step is to promote that book. We can put you on the billboard, on the magazine. You get interviewed, and 200,000 people will see you. Now, here's the different stories of people who have done it in the past. You see some of our great stories that I shared earlier. And then we can focus on another solution. Well, yeah, Milan, I have all the stuff. I don't charge anymore. I mean, I speak for free, Milan. How do I do that? Well, that's what I do. I can show you how you can start charging for your keynote topics. And there's a way. But if you don't have your story, you won't be able to charge. If you don't have a marketing, nobody will pay you because nobody knows who you are. Right, so and there's another story of people who have done it with nothing, and there's a bigger picture. Do you all like the idea in six months from now, being on the front cover of the magazine, being on the billboard, being invited to different podcasts, being interviewed at one of the top leading podcasts in South Africa? At least two hundred thousand people will see you holding your book in your hand, being on the front cover of the magazine. Is that where you want to go? And the next question is, 
are you ready to accept that that's who you can become? Because some people will say no. Because they see the clear vision and say, no, 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 that's too big. I'd rather play low. And that's perfectly fine. You do need to have a courage to step into your greatness, to step outside of that comfort zone, because that's where the growth happens, outside of that comfort zone, outside of that shell, of that bubble. Get more people to know who you are, how great are you, how powerful story you have. And by doing that, you inspire more people, you influence more people, and you change more lives. Would that be worth it of taking that step, leap of faith and courage to step into unknown and into your own greatness? Would that be worth it? It does come with a price. Well, the more lives you're going to impact, more people will get to know you. More people will get to know you, which means more people will become your followers, which means more pressure, more responsibility, and you grow your bubble. And eventually you have 1,000, 2,000, 30,000. Riches and beyond our Facebook page, 100,000. A million speakers, 40,000 on the Facebook. Instagram is about 4, 5, 15. I'm not even certain about the numbers. That's, that's how big this can become. You want to become a speaker, share your story, publish your book? We don't play low here. Oh, I just want a few people. We want to make money, right? So let's get thousands of people to buy that book, right? To get thousands of people to buy that book, thousands of people need to hear about you. How are they going to know about you if you know where to be found? There's no social media. They Google your name, nothing. Well, it doesn't work that way. They need to know who you are before they buy your product. So step into your greatness. Accept the fact that you can become that amazing person with a powerful story and a powerful book. And let's see how far we can go. Are you guys ready? And eventually, after you see that big picture, there's different proofs of people who have done it. And by doing it so, you overcome these objections. There's no questions at the end. People just see what they need to do. Need to do it. They realize what's missing. And the next question is, okay, what do I do next? Should I help on a call or uh, do I need help? The question is, do you need help? Do you feel that you need help on this journey? Well, if you feel that you need help, are you still going to try to do it alone? You might think you know, but if you've never done it before, what makes you think you know? Or would it be easier to find someone who's done it before you to guide you so that you, you avoid all these costly mistakes and wander around in time? Hmm, repeat after me. I have the power to change my financial situation and achieve my goals and dreams. I don't know who needs to hear this now, but you are enough and you are not alone. And it's okay to ask for help. And speaking is one of the skills that you can use anywhere in any industry. You're speaking every single day, right? To your friends, to clients, the customers. Could be one on one, could be in the boardroom, right? In property space, a lot of our students, they learn how to negotiate. Doris from Pella done seven deals in six months. She learned the power of negotiation. Dr. JJ from Soweto, also four deals in three months. Some of our students, like, like Cornelius Koopman, uh, he's a TV producer on the Home Channel, has his own show. Also, he helped us to have our own show within the property game where our CEO, Sylvia, is the host as well, where our students share the stories and strategy. Again, marketing, leverage. Which other company have their own show? None. So where should I go? I want to learn from the top property investors. Should I go to these little fishes or should I go to these big guys, Riches and Beyond? They have 50,000 students, CETA accredited. They have their own show. Of course, with Riches and Beyond because we build that leverage and the right to charge to make decisions simple, right? Here's Doris. She ended up being in the show, the pro, uh, All About Property. Dunisani Manganya, business partner who spoke in Australia as well. Also, we have people from Cape Town. Saskia Riley, she's a brand strategist, one of my great students. She speaks a lot and she helps entrepreneurs and uh, celebrities, actors uh, with their brand. If you want to take your brand to the whole new level, you go to Saskia. Tapelo Mohau, great master negotiator. He's about 24 years old on the property side. He brings deals, negotiate with different investors. We have a massive network of investors. Also, here's Dr. Musi, powerful executive. She wrote a couple of books about her journey. Born and raised in Mtata. She was taking care of cattle, literally. She wrote a book, 
Life Lessons of a Cattle Herder. Second book, Lipstick Chronicles of a CEO. Powerful story. She's got her own program. She's helping CEOs to go through different difficult times as being a CEO, right? So also stories of Rowan Kruger. I mentioned him earlier. Rowan is a pharmacist with the heart of an entrepreneur. Always wanted to start a podcast. His podcast, The Thrive Factor, one of the top, top podcasts in South Africa as we speak. He interviewed a lot of local people, international. He's loving it. He's loving it. And save the best for last, Daniel. I mean, uh, the reason why I saved Daniel for last is the story, is inspiration. It's about the journey of someone who never gave up, of someone who reached out when he needed it, who realized it's okay to ask for help. If you stuck, don't kill yourself. You're not alone. Find someone who can grab you, pull you up, and show you it's going to be fine. I have a mentor. My mentor has a mentor. And story goes on and on and on. Never be alone in life. You're not alone. Find someone to guide you. Someone you can talk to. If you don't have friends, find a mentor who can become your great friend. That's how important this become. Because if you don't know how to handle depression, why people committing suicide, they don't, they don't have someone to talk to. Just talking to give them that hug that... Just to say it's going to be fine. Someone to say, hey, I've been broke. I went through a divorce. I lost a job. I've been sleeping on my friend's couch. I was broke. I'm a college dropout. Couldn't speak English. Had nothing. Lost almost everything. You're going through the same thing. Hey, look at me today. Running seven and eight figure businesses. You're going to be fine. Just don't quit. That's how big this is, folks. Never underestimate your journey and your story. You never know who's listening. Could be that little kid in the crowd just waiting for you to hear that story, to get him inspired, to give them light. Years later, that kid becomes a president because of you without even realizing. Without even realizing. Because somebody is going through a rough time right now, but you were going through the same thing not so long ago, and you overcome that. That's what it's all about. You share your journey, your story, and helping people without even realizing. Could be through a powerful journey of a story, defying the odds, harnessing the power of transformation. Could be through something else, but share it. Share it. People need this now more than ever, especially post-COVID. Right, we all been in lockdown. All of a sudden, everybody's trying to sell us something. Who can I trust? People need more genuine people, more real people, people who will be there just for the sake of being. Let's have a talk just because we can. Right? Why am I sharing all this with you, folks? This can be you. I mean, the story of Daniel who find a new love, new eight months year old baby, baby. Good job, Daniel. You know. I like a friend of mine told me when I got my twins, I have two of them. They're turning seven in a few days. Friend of mine told me, oh, you got twins. Well, you had your sleep. You had it. So you're not going to sleep for years now. And he was right. <laughs> Even today, I, I barely sleep. You know, kids are always there to, to kind of keep you busy. But it's a journey of, of falling down and picking yourself up and finding what's going to work for you so that you finally become happy. Job is not there to keep you, to kind of help you survive. Job needs to fulfill your purpose. Should be an extension of you. Should be an extension of you. Why doing something that you don't like? But I have to. I have nothing else. Yes, you have a choice. How about you write a book and turn that book into business? People have done it. Are you doing something you love? Yes. How about you go there and speak? What do you love doing anyways? It's your story, your journey. Why not speak and charge for it? Wouldn't that be nice? A lot of opportunities. The more you know, the more you can do. The more you learn, the more you earn. Right? So... Look, folks, uh, I'm not here to sell you anything. I mentioned that there won't be any offer today. Um, I will invite you to join me on a free coaching call. If you need any help with anything, book a call. I'm going to post it again in front of you. Book it. It's completely free. I made myself available for the next few days. Let's hop on on that call. Pick the time that suits you. Uh, 30 minutes, you will know exactly what to do next to take yourself to the next next level. I do offer coaching and mentorship programs. Um, they're normally for 12 months. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, reach out to me. Let me know, Melan, I'm interested in your program, and I'll be more than happy to share it. I won't try to sell you anything. I promise you that. 
uh, I will just show you how big you can become with your story and with your vision where you want to go. Your book can become a bestseller. Look, folks, I wrote nine books in my life so far, and I still have tons of them to write because there's always something new to, to be written, right? One of them with Tony Robbins himself. Google him if you don't know him as yet, right? Was number one on the Amazon, but guess what? I put next to my name, I wrote a book endorsed by Tony Robbins. Not many people can say that. And that's what's all this about. You do something remarkable to inspire other people, show them that it's possible. I couldn't even speak English, wrote nine books in English. Anything is possible. I've done more than 1,000 live events, shared the stage with Lisa Nichols, Tony Robbins. Now, we haven't really shared the stage, but we wrote a book together. I shared the stage with Lisa Nichols, Les Brown, Robert Kiyosaki, Bob Proctor. I learned from the greats. And I run seven and eight figure businesses right now as we speak. I teach CEOs, executives, politicians how to become better speakers and executives, become powerful leaders. So, folks, you're in the good hands. I spend more than one million rand in my education, learning from these great people so that you don't have to. Everything I learned from them, I'm bringing to you guys to your table for free. So, if you haven't booked your coaching call as yet, book it. Here's the blueprint as yet for everything we did to build our business to seven and eight figures. I will send you the replay of this video a bit later on. You're going to find it in your inbox. Also, you can expect a few, you can expect few emails from me. Make sure you, you get them, whether it's from the webinar jam or uh, uh, from my name, Milan Milosevic, right? You're going to see the coming open. Then will be great stories to follow you and to let you know what to do next. The link is again in front of you. And I want to open the room right now for uh, any questions that you might be having, literally anything. A um, few minutes before we conclude the day, let me ask you, did you guys, um, did you get a lot of value from our call today, from our webinar today? Did you guys get a lot of value? Did I open up your mind a little bit, right? Stretch up your mind a little bit to get you thinking differently. That's what's all this about. Your mind, once stretched, can never go back where it was before and it never should because you see something different something new you see a different version of yourself that you can become then you follow right you can always stay where you are but that's not where you're growing you're growing following different steps getting different results thinking differently acting differently and that's where the real power is you can always become better stronger wiser more resilient more courageous you can become all that, but you have to do it more and more and more. Consistency is the key. Like Denzel Washington said in the, in, in the days, without commitment, you will never start. Without consistency, you will never finish. Most common questions I get, Milan, can anybody do this? You know, Milan, I thought I can just join Toastmasters and become a speaker. You can do that. Go and join Toastmasters. One thing they won't teach you is how to become a paid speaker. They'll teach you how to become a good speaker. It's going to take forever, by the way, just to let you know. Wow, I'm a good speaker now, technically, correct? What do I do now? Oh, go and speak to TEDx stages. Great, free stage, perfect. Go and speak for free. That's not what I do here. Do you want to be a broke speaker? Do you want to be a wealthy speaker? You decide. Anybody can teach you how to speak. Not many can teach you how to become a wealthy, successful businessman speaker. People called me, Milan, your number one speaker mentor in South Africa. They labeled me as such. Look, look, folks, there's great speakers in South Africa. How many mentors do we really have? People who actually teach how to speak and become better? Not many. In fact, I don't really know any of them with such value provided. So, folks, you decide. Choose your mentors wisely. If you see that you got a lot of value from today's presentation, I'm happy. I've been honored and privileged to be a speaker for today. It's all about where do you want to go? And do you know how to get there? If you don't know how, book a call with me and I'll be more than happy to guide you. So, folks, hope you really enjoyed this event today. Looking forward to see you. In the meantime, stay safe and healthy and I'll see you on the other side. Do something. Make it happen. Make the best out of it, folks. Take care. This was Milan. See you soon. Bye-bye.